What's going on kiddies? Mad Montaigne. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to make custom wallpapers for your PS4. Now this was a feature they had on PS3 and I made a video about it before and I recently found out that they set it up to where you can do it on the PlayStation 4 now. So first thing what you're going to need is you're going to have to go pick up Share Factory. Okay, Share Factory is really easy. All you got to do is go to the PlayStation Store and look it up. It's Share Factory. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> it doesn't cost you a dime. All we're going to use it for is editing our, our pictures so they can be put up in our background. Okay. Now, what you first want to do is you want to find the highest quality picture you can. Uh, higher quality pictures will look a lot better. Uh, easiest way to do that is just go to HD Wallpaper. Go to your uh, browser. Type in HD Wallpaper. Uh, pick whatever site you like. Uh, just try to find the best looking picture you can possibly find. Uh, we'll go with this one here. See what it is. Oh, I've, I've used this one before. I'm not particularly fond of it. I didn't find anything good in there. Uh, let's try the next one down. Uh, it's, it's total pro personal preference on this. You could use a picture from your phone. You could use a picture from anything. All you have to do is send it in an email to yourself. Then come in on here and uh, open it up. And then... <clears throat> Just take a screenshot of which I'm going to show you here. Let me find some good ones here. All right, this one's good. This is a good place to find some. Uh, uh, they got all kinds of different categories, whatever you're into, be it cats, crazy art, space, Christmas stuff. It's whatever whatever you're particularly into you want to make as a background. Uh, we could do celebrities. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just go with games. So I'll select it, then go down and just find a picture that you like. We'll take a look here. We got Mario, Ryu, Grand Theft Auto. Um, what do we want to use here? Uh, I particularly like uh, Batman, so I guess we'll uh, we'll go with Batman here. So just select it. All right, now we got it pulled up here. Now all we're going to do is we're going to make it big screen. Hit square. It makes your browser full screen, and now we're going to type the right analog. To, to zoom in we'll get it good and centered here in the picture and now all we're going to do is hold the share button now you see the icon come up here right up here in the corner it shows you that we took a screenshot all right so that part's done we got our picture so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into share factory let it load up here okay now we're going to go down to photos we're going to go to new project hit x now these are backgrounds and stuff. They're not going to serve us any purpose other than just being in the background. We're not going to see them. So we're just going to pick the first one here, select. Now we're going to go down and find our picture. So hit X on it. Now we hit square to add screenshots. So we hit square, go to continue. And now here's where we are going to edit our picture. Okay, now first of all, we got a background here. You can see it around here. It's white. Let's go ahead and change the color real quick so you can see what I'm actually talking about. We'll make it red. So now you can actually see this background here. We, we do not want this. We don't want this in our picture. So first of all, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to hit square again, border settings, and then take the left analog, push all the way back to the left, and that takes it away. All right, so now we got that done. Now we're going to edit the photo. We hit X. You're going to go to pan and zoom. And now we just use the right analog to adjust the picture and the left analog to zoom in on it. So we get it good and center here, and now we start zooming in on it so it fills up the screen. Move it up a little bit, get it good centered, maybe back it out just a hair, get it to where we like it. This is all personal preference. If you like it a certain way, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. All right, now we got it where we like it. Now we hit circle to back up. Now we go save photo and exit, hit X, let it render the photo. All right, now we hit project save. Now we hit the, the, X, the uh, menu button to come back. Go over here to settings, select settings, go down to themes, select themes, now select theme again. <laughs> all right, now we go all the way to the bottom down here. Right in the middle here is custom. We select custom now, and now we go select image. Now we go to our pictures here and all, and now we just select the picture we, we just created. Go down, select color. If you uh, the the make function area dim is really important. You might want to just leave that on. Uh, I don't know of many cases where you would like it off. I I would just leave that on. Uh, then you can select color, and this will be the color it turns when you're actually not on the the uh, home screen there. Like when we went down, select the themes. We'll make it yellow just so everybody can see. Now we hit apply. 
back up to the home screen and boom there you go guys now you got your fresh picture that you just pulled from the internet and it's your background now there's a lot more options you can do here in share factory now now you can get in here and really edit some things up uh here's where the screen turns a different color that where we picked yellow so you guys can see that we'll go back to our themes and show us a couple of that i actually made we'll select the image again go to our screenshots uh, in the share factory you can add text to it you can add all kinds of different things this is one i made i found a i was looking up historical photos try to put up there and i found this little old lady uh, holding a fucking ak so i just took her and put arm the elderly across it in uh, share factory with the uh, text editor in there it's a it's really as far as you guys want to take it you can mess around in share factory and really really do some cool stuff i made that uh to can use the uh, frame deal to uh, make this New York picture here. Let me get it up here. I didn't select it. There it is. I right, apply. Back to the home screen. And boom. You can change. There's filters for it. You can put sepia filters on it. You make it black and white. You make it color. You can jazz it up with whatever you guys want to do. It's, it's, it's really as far as you guys want to take it. Uh, we're going to take and show you some of the frames here. We're going to add like six photos, just six random photos. We're going to hit add screenshot, continue, and now it's going to put them in these different frames. You can select these frames to the left here. So if you wanted to, you could put whatever pictures you want in here. You could just set it up. If you had a picture of you and your kids or your dog or anything you like, like your five favorite games, you got up to, what is it, 16 frames here. You could put a picture of every one of your favorite games in there or every one of your favorite goldfish whatever you want to do guys this is really really as far as you want to take it it's it's a really powerful little uh editing software here for just doing pictures it, it's really cool uh say you, you want this picture uh you want to change that one you don't want you don't want that one there all you do is you select on it hit choose screenshot and then just pick what you want in its place we'll throw uh we'll throw dr strange back in there and now you can just take and edit that single photo. We hit X on it, go down to pan and zoom. We can zoom it in, change the way it looks in that picture. It's really, you know, however you really want. There's a lot of personal preference going on here. And if you want to take the time and really get in depth with it and make something super cool, it's it's completely on you guys. But uh, now PlayStation has gave us the option to do this. So uh, definitely go check it out and uh, set yourself up with some really cool shit. Uh, I think it's awesome. I've been messing around with it all day. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you would, please drop a like. And if you know somebody that would like this, uh, share with your friends. And uh, until next time, guys, I've been Mad Montaigne. And we'll see you. See you.